Hey, Clean the Desert Network, coming back with another video tonight. Today is we're going to talk about the trade, the huge trade that happened earlier or last yesterday afternoon. I did not get to it because I was busy with um sports and other things, but I'm going to get to it t right now. Um, so the game, so after the fourth week of preseason, um. The Jets had already gotten or had already gotten um that Patriot defender, and they said, "Well, we don't like how Richardson talks smack about Marshall. We even still since he's gone, we don't like the fact that he isn't he talk he isn't a great locker room leader. We don't like the fact." We can live without him. We need some wide receivers to back up to get Nunwa that to replace Nunwa for now. We need Jermaine Curse. They figured that's the only guy they could get from the Seattle Seahawks. So the deal so the trade was that the Seattle Seahawks traded Jermaine Curse to the Jets in a twenty eighteen second round draft pick. Um so to be honest, this pick this draft uh, this um this um def this pl this trade does not um make me too mad. I mean, it was upsetting at the beginning due to um due to just seemed like Jets were just trading everyone away. But when you see when you come down to it, you can see Jermaine curses it. It was never a top was never a number one number two wide receiver and um um in Seattle, but he had flashes of being one. And I think in the in the in the in the wide receiver core that is the New York Jets, when we're gonna have Bobby Anderson and a bunch of rookies, Bobby Anderson is the only one ever to play in an NFL regular season wide receiver. So for the Jets, except for Jermaine Curse now. So I think this helps the Jets. I think come two years from now, um, we have a jo we have Josh McCown that starter this year. To be honest, the Jets aren't going to win many games this season. Six at best. Expect like three or four. I mean, if you're expecting the Jets to get 10 and 6, it just isn't going to happen. Um, I mean, maybe six. Like I said, maybe six. At best, seven. Say the, um, they somehow beat the Dolphins and the Bills both times for each team, which probably will not happen. But say they do, that still only gets us, maybe we can pull off seven wins, but I don't think so. I'm thinking like six is my cap space. So yeah, I mean, when it go, when we look on it from the Seattle Seahawks side, this is not a bad pip, um, trade for them. They don't really need curse, um, and they need to strengthen up that defensive line of theirs. So it helps them. And it helps the Jets. And hopefully the Jets can get some a good pick out of the second rounder. And we all know that the second rounder is going to be a late pick in the second round. Like 55th overall at least. Because it's the Seattle Seahawks. They aren't, they aren't a bad team. So they'll get deep in the second round. So that's the video. If you like the video, make, make sure to hit the subscribe button. For more like this, hit the like button. Or other way around, whatever. Subscribe, please, and like, because um, it helps my channel, and it helps you. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Get Jets.